For those in the Middle East, the Honda Jazz is a familiar nameplate. It has earned its reputation as being a good but expensive hatchback when compared to the likes of the Kia Rio, Suzuki Baleno and Toyota Yaris. At a difficult to digest 63,900 dirhams, let's see if this all new 2018 model can stand up against the competition or if it will soon fade away and be overtaken by more affordable offerings. hatchback part crossover. The styling of this all-new third-generation model is funky, yet in line with previous models. This EX trim welcomes a chrome grille, which is similar to the one found on the Honda City, 16-inch alloy wheels, and deep contours along the sides that give it the impression of a much longer vehicle. Small on the outside, yet very, very spacious on the inside, the Honda Jazz is perfect for new drivers and small families alike. While there are neat design elements such as cup holders placed in front of the AC vents, which have been carried over from previous generation models, the highlights are undeniably the rear seat space and its 354-litre boot capacity, which is far superior to anything else the competition has to offer. Fitted with various safety, entertainment and convenience features, the Honda Jazz is armed with a tyre pressure monitoring system, rear parking sensors, cruise control and a whole lot more. The 7-inch touch infotainment screen, however, is rather complicated to use and behaves in the same sort of fashion that an old iPhone would after receiving an update. It's full of animations, but laggy. Powered by a 1.5-litre four-cylinder engine, the Jazz is, on paper at least, more powerful than the larger Civic. Averaging 8.5 litres for every 100 kilometres, the Jazz is both nimble and frugal, delivering well over 500 kilometres per tank of gasoline. At the current rate of 2.25 dirhams per litre, you're looking at, let me put my math hat on, 95 dirhams for a full tank. Worth mentioning is also the great visibility from the large windscreen and these quarter panels that make driving an absolute breeze. The Honda Jazz has been a hit and miss for the brand in the Middle East. The first generation model was an absolute success with sales greatly exceeding monthly targets. The second generation model, not so much. And that was to do with its ludicrous price tag. Unfortunately, this all new model follows in the footsteps of its lesser successful sibling and dons a nonsensical price tag of 63,900 dirhams. To put into perspective, that's just 3,000 dirhams less than the larger, more practical, better looking and better equipped Honda Civic. What are you thinking, Honda? 